Hey, Scratchers, let's build Flappy Bird. But don't call it Flappy Bird. We might get sued. Let's say Flappy Bat. Cool. We're cool with that. So get rid of the Scratch Cat. Yes. Boom. Gone. Was there an explosion? No. Now, what we want to do is create a sprite. And we're going to be drawing that sprite. That's going to be those tubes that move across the screen, which they were probably sued by Mario Brothers for, or Nintendo. Okay, and we're drawing the sprite. Grab the, the square. I don't know. Is that a square? And we're going to draw it. It's a tube. Eh, is it dark enough? Probably like an outline would look good. Um, I don't know. Dark outline. Something. There. There's a tube. Let's draw the bottom of the tube. Now, it doesn't look real fancy. That's because you haven't uh, shadowed it with a gradient or a gradient with a shadow. I can't speak today. Go ahead and grab that bucket. Click on fill. Click on gradient. Then come over here and then you can adjust the gradient so it looks really cool. Oh, but there's only one top tube. Why? Okay, watch this. Copy. Copy and paste. Yes, paste it. And now you have two of them. Two of them that are exactly the same. Just flip it upside down. I know I'm doing a lot of stuff really quickly, but I'm sure it's not that hard. There's no room for that bird to get between there or bat or whatever it is. So just go ahead and control how tall it is by changing that. Now, it's pretty cool when you make multiple costumes. So it's kind of one is hard, one is easy, whatever. Just right click on it, duplicate it, duplicate it. And each one of these, go ahead and just adjust it a little bit more. Like this one's going to be all the way at the top. There you go. And then this one's going to be, wait a minute, this one's here, this one's here, and this one is there. Looks pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and add the code. And the first piece of code is going to be an event like you'll always do with a green flag. There it goes. When the game starts, we want this sprite to go to, well, right here, right in the far right corner. So let's put that sprite there. That will save us some time when we go to the motions menu because then it will all be set up for us. Look, the go to position is already there exactly where we want it to be. And now all we need to do is have it glide to the other side, but let's manually move it to the other side, put it where we want it to finish. We want it to finish right there. So now this glide is already set up with the correct numbers, push the green flag. Oh, it's impossibly fast. So let's slow it down to what, three seconds? That looks good. Ah, oh, looks like Flappy Bird. Now, each time it goes past, we want it to switch costumes. So go ahead and go looks, and then do next costume, and then wrap it all up with a bow and a forever loop, because we want this pattern to repeat. Here it goes, Zoo, doo, 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 doo. and let's see if the, oh, it got harder. That, that one's a little awkward looking. Eh, works pretty well. Okay, so now let's add our little flappy bat. It's going to be a sprite, right? So let's click on sprite. Unless you want to draw your own. Eh, I'm not very good at drawing bats. There's a bat. Woof. Let's just search for bats and let's see what our options are. There's a bat. <laughs> that's, that's a batter. Okay, so here's the flappy bat. And he's probably the wrong size. So come on down into size. And let's go for, let's go for 600%. That's not going to work. Uh, still a little bit big. Let's go with 50%. Now we need to add the flapping motion of the bat. And first of all, we need to talk about what exactly will the bat be doing. He will be falling, and then you'll press the space bar, and he will flap. <laughs> flapping and falling, just like a real bat does. So let's go ahead and we'll start with a start flag and say, okay, where does he start? Let's have him start right here. That way he'll have a chance to fall. Okay, so we'll use the go to, and then we will go in the control menu and give, we'll add some gravity to the game. We'll say forever fall. Now the, the Y position controls the up and down axis. So if we say the Y is decreasing, he'll go down, and the Y increases, he'll go up. And I'll show you that right now. Inside the motion, look for change Y. Here it is. So if we change Y forever up, he goes up. If we change it forever negative 10, he goes down. Let's see how fast that fall is. That's a pretty fast fall. I think for Flappy Bat, my game, it's going to be a negative five fall. That's pretty good. Boy, those tubes are really moving. Now, to kind of counteract that gravity that's pulling him down, I need him to flap and flap high, he will. So let's go ahead and add an event. And let's say when the space bar is pressed, 
that he will move up. Now I'll show you kind of the bad way and the good way to do this. Why am I showing you the bad way? Because it's easy. Watch this. Change Y by 10. This should just kind of counteract what I have right here. Not very well though, because this is this forever loop is just fighting me. It's too much to fight. So let's go ahead and go inside of here and let's use a repeat block. I love repeat blocks for jumping because it's going to repeat 10 times change by 10. Repeat blocks create a really smooth movement because instead of just doing the whole movement at once, it's kind of repeat 10, repeat 10, repeat 10. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it looks like now. Oh, that looks a lot better. We just, it doesn't have the flappy motion. We need the flappy motion. So let's go look in the, the looks menu for the costumes and let's talk about what costume, well, what costumes do you have, Bat? You have, you have a couple different ones. Oh, I like that. So I want it, I want him, when I press the space bar, to him to do Bat A and then Bat B. That's pretty cool, I like that. Okay, so press the space bar switch costume to bat a and then after he um let's see if this works to bat b let's check that oh it's reverse of what i wanted oh my goodness so let's see i want bat a and then there it goes bat b there that's pretty nice I don't know why he's flying sideways, but I love it. Now, if he touches the the pipes, which, why are they there? I don't know. If he touches those pipes, we want it to be kind of a game over situation. So let's use a wait until block. Go in the control, and there is a wait until block. So we're gonna say wait until touching those green blocks, or pipes. I keep saying blocks, but they're pipes. So let's go into sensing and touching now do i have to worry about what color let's just shrink the screen real quick what color these pipes are yes but actually they're a sprite they're called sprite one so i can actually sense those sprites here he goes so wait until touching sprite one and then end the game let's let's end the game the really super cheesy fast way because i'm trying to make this video fast let's just go into control and at the bottom just do stop all that's so cheesy i know so when are we going to actually use this code i don't like this type of code just sitting somewhere waiting to be discovered i want it to be at the top where i can see it easy and i'm going to connect it to a starting flag there it is this game should work now let's play it all right everybody uh oh, is he, um, we have a problem. This tube is touching the bat and therefore it is not starting the game. So let's go back to these tubes and make sure that they move to the start, to the starting position. So let's move them all the way over here once again and go to motion and say, go to this position when we start there. Now we can play this game. Ah, it's so hard. Who made this get? I'm gonna like rage quit right now. Yes, yes, yes.